Hello again. You know that we cannot survive without eating or even drinking. Water represented a great percentage of the human body. It represents about 60% of the human body. In addition to the nutrients or the types of food, your body needs different kinds of food in order to survive. Some of these nutrients supply the body with energy as carbohydrates and fats. Some of them provide some nutrients for growth and body repair. Some of them provide the body with different compounds for the chemical reactions inside the body cells. The most important main five groups that the body needs in order to survive. Number one, carbohydrates. Number two, proteins. Number three, fats. Number four, minerals and vitamins. Number four, number five, vitamins. The first group, carbohydrates, it means the food that contains sugar and starch. Starch, lots of glucose molecules. But the sugar, simply glucose molecules. This is the difference between both of them. Both of them together are called carbohydrates. They are sharing in the function, they supply the body with energy. The most popular examples of starch, cereals as wheat and rice, beans, potatoes, banana and corn. Examples of sugar food, fruit, cake, chocolate. Both of the starch and sugar supply the body with energy. Most of the fruit and vegetables contain carbohydrates. The simple glucose of sugar passes from the small intestine to the blood unchanged. The second group, proteins. The protein molecule is consisting of more complicated molecules than starch. From the examples of the proteins, meat, fish, chicken, eggs, milk, nuts, beans. The importance of the proteins for the human body. The human body needs protein for growth and build and repair. Some proteins organize the chemical reactions in the cells. Proteins are made of many different compounds called amino acids. Number three, fats. Fats, they are built from two types of molecules, glycerol and fatty acids. They are existing in many kinds of food. They are found in meat, fish, nuts, and milk products. Fats are very important and needed by the body because they supply the body with energy. They help in building the body cells, making the cells membrane. They help in insulating the nerves, protecting the organs as the heart, reducing the heat loss from the skin, and store excess of water, excess of food for later. A fat molecule is formed from one glycerol molecule and three molecules of fatty acids. One molecule of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acids. Different fats and oils contain different fatty acids, properties, and energy. Number four, group number four, vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are found especially in fruit and vegetables. Also, they are existing in meat and fish. Vitamins and minerals are needed by the body, but they are used in very trace amount or very small amount in order to help in the chemical reactions in the cells. Some minerals strengthen bones and teeth, as calcium and phosphorus. They are found in all the body flavors. Vitamins in fish and dairy products can dissolve and store in the fats until they are needed by the body. Other vitamins cannot be stored, so we need to eat them regularly. Concerning to the fibers, fibers are made of large molecules that our body cannot digest. 
which are found in the plant cells walls. It is not nutrients, but it is an essential part in our diet. From the food which are rich in fibers, beans, and lentils. The fibers help the food to pass quickly through the digestive system and to avoid constipation. You have to eat a balanced diet. The balanced diet contains all the right amounts of all nutrients your body cells need to function properly. The nutritional requirements vary or differ according to country, male or female, and also according to the age. The diet replaces the energy we use and give us a mix of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Don't ever forget that the proteins are made of 20 different types of components called amino acids. Our cells can make some of them, but there are other we can only get from food as meat, eggs, soybeans, dairy products, they supply all the amino acids that we need. Fats, we have two types of fats, saturated fats and unsaturated fats. Unfortunately, that the saturated fats are very dangerous because they are unhealthy. Some of them causing or increasing the risk of heart attack or heart diseases. These type of fats are found in the processed food. It's much better to obtain your food from the home because they are clean and healthy. But the other type of the fats, which are called unsaturated fats, they are better than the saturated fats because they are healthy. These fats are found in fish, nuts, and vegetable oils. The fats contain two essential fatty acids, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. The cells cannot make them, but obtain them from food. The carbohydrates supply the body with about 60% of energy. Starchy food in rice, cassava, and bread. Fruit and vegetables, they are also contain plenty of vitamins, minerals, and fibers. The malnutrition or the deficiency of food it takes place if you don't have a balanced diet. So you don't have enough energy, you cannot grow normally and suffer from health problem. But if you eat too much, the body stores the extra energy as fats. When the fats are accumulated, it will be dangerous for human health and lives. It leads to risk of heart diseases or maybe diabetes. The sugar of seeds, nuts, and fizz drinks. The excess of them leading to coating the teeth and help to grow the microbes. Some of these microbes convert the sugar into acids, causing tooth decay.